Residents of Evil, hope you're all doing well. Man, we've got some real YouTube legends in the house today. We've got the boys, the Bentley bros. How the devil are you doing, gentlemen? Hello, we're, we're all not good. bad, we're good, thank you. Yeah, we're good. All in unison, of course. Yeah. Um, you said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> not okay. <laughs> so how, initially, how is life? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> Great. Pure alcohol he's drinking. <laughs> awesome. But no, it's good, thanks. Good, good, good. It's been a long time. Was it been 18 years since? 16, since Resident Evil? yeah. 16, 18, 2005. It's been That's 16 true. years for four years. 18, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dragging out. <laughs> and that, 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 that has been some time. I, I like to consider, like, um, we was briefly talking off air about this, that re your Resident Evil parodies your Resident Evil 1, your Resident Evil 4 parodies, they're almost like, they're like the OG RE videos. Like, I put them in the category of like, you know, like Die MF Die, the System of a Down, the YouTube poops of Resident Evil 4. Like, if, you, if you've been around YouTube for a very long time, and you've been around specifically Resident Evil 4 YouTube, you're going to know what this video is. But in short, who are the Bentley Bros? And why do you do what you do? Um, anyone <laughs> well originally it's just for fun really that's it we just enjoyed our it our mum came home with a camera one day that was and it. we were like we're gonna do some films with that we had a line of and coke on a of... desk and a camera <laughs> and we had to pick between the two <laughs> we went the weird way a bit of both that was it yeah, <laughs> yeah a little bit of both but so like the evil spoofs sort of just we just started doing it like Stu used to play the game most out of all of us i think uh -huh. But it was like Resident Evil 1, the original, was like a childhood game. Like you had that at a really young age when you probably shouldn't have had it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess it just went from there. And then... I think we just happened to have clothes that looked like the characters from Resident Evil 1 lying around. I think, is that why we did it? Yeah, we didn't buy anything. We didn't buy really. anything. I just happened to be dressed as a woman. Yeah. You're like, hey, <laughs> hang on. You look like Jill. <laughs> Just, just like light bulb. You were like, you were like yeah. Tim Curry in Home Alone 2. It was like, ding. <laughs> Um, but you, you must have had like, well, I mean, we again briefly discussed this, discussed this off eight. You must have had a real affinity specifically toward Resident Evil. Why was it that back in the day, from what you remember, of course, I appreciate it was a little while ago. Why specifically Resident Evil did you choose to parody? I got one for that. Go on. The acting in the game was terrible and we could match it. <laughs> <laughs> We were worse than the original. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember why we picked Resident Evil. Yeah. I know we, we obviously enjoyed it. We used to sit around the TV together and pass the controller around as we played it. Uh, but because we know, were too scared. We were too scared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's literally it. But no, I don't remember why we specifically chose Resident Evil. I think it's because it's got quite a lot of things that you can spoof. It does have it, a lot. Of, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of, things. of things you can take the mic out of. Right. Yeah. Ah, it was easy to trash it. That's why we picked yeah. it. And the thing is, usually how our filming it is, we'll think of one joke or one idea from something, and then. That's it. And we're like, yes, we're going to do this. And then we just think everything else on top. Snowballs so it might have been we were playing Resident Evil. We just thought, this is funny. This will be a funny video. And then it just went into a 40 minute video. But you must have had like a, like a, an affinity for like production too. So what was the link between like, right, we've got a camera here. Let's all dress up in wacky clothes Scary and movie. replicate. Oh, it probably was. Scary movie helped, I think, when that first came out. Yeah, we're a big fan of that, like, 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 like scary movie, yeah. Filming and that. We did a lot of scream, well, scary movie, anything, just copying scary movie. And then it went from that to Resident Evil. But originally we only did like, so there were seven episodes. We did the first episode where it was just the intro of it. And then I don't think we had a plan after that. No, yeah. People liked it. And then we were like, all right, we'll carry on then. And then eventually we got like our friend Paul in as Barry. And um, who else was in that one? Ben, ben, Luke, Ben, ben everyone, everyone, everyone made the games, yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure most of it was just made up on the spot. It was. Resident Evil was made up on the spot. We didn't have a script at all. So if you watch very carefully in a lot of our content, we actually rip a lot of jokes from a lot of unknown films. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't filmed in a mansion. Would you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> we did that well. Yeah, it's, it's all about camera angles. And... <laughs> you, really, you really pulled the wall over our eyes with that one. <laughs> So re re the Resident Evil, the original Resident Evil parody came first, I'll take it. Yeah. And then yeah. did RE4 come out in between the release of that and quite a few years RE4? Or no, how did uh, that work? I, I think we put the Resident Evil film together into a full film in 2005. 
And then I think later that year, we started filming Resident Evil 4. I'm pretty sure that's how it happened. It was right between sort of when we finished school and then had no jobs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing yeah. better to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we, we saw how well that one was doing. So that's why we went on to Resident Evil 4. Plus the game was amazing. I think people were probably yeah. asking for it as well. They're probably asking yeah, for I imagine it. they were, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, what were your thoughts? <laughs> well, what were your thoughts like on Resident Evil Four when it initially came out? Because this was this was made fairly prompt after the the launch of RE Four, so you must have like really sunk a lot of hours back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Amazing, it was it? such. A it literally game. ruined other games for me because it was that good. I felt like it was so different to the other Resident Evils that it didn't feel like a Resident Evil to begin with, but then. We just nailed it for a while, didn't we? That sounds weird. We didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we played it a lot. I don't even remember. I don't remember my first playthrough of Resident Evil Four. I know I liked it, but I don't remember anything else about it. It was on GameCube. Are you sure you played it? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a little bit. Actually, I have you know we imported it from America, so we probably played it before you. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well add, add it, add it, why, did, why did you specifically import it from the US? Like, uh, was it just because it came out? We were just impatient. Yeah, we were really impatient. And you, uh, we were saying off air that you initially were putting these out on what was it like an an IGN forum or something like that? Yeah, the yeah, uh, the not yeah, the Resident Evil forum on IGN. That's that was our sole purpose, like for these like twenty people or something. And that's Isn't it like that, called Blue Dragon or something. No, that was that was the website that was that hosting was, them. Yeah, oh, okay. you put it on Twitter, but no, no yeah, the goal was to make these twenty people laugh. Yeah, we're I don't free think YouTube. Yeah, I don't think, we, yeah we didn't. Even, I don't think YouTube was even around. When did YouTube start? I don't know. Would have yeah, been two thousand and five. Yeah, yeah, I, think, I were, think it just started up as we finished. It was Resident off the back of our films, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Like, yeah. they created it specifically to host like, We need a film. platform for these sorts of films. Yeah. <laughs> in touch with us. <laughs> so, so, do you think that there there could be an element that because you guys were so early putting up this long form piece of Resident Evil media, do you think that played a lot into how it's so why it's so successful and why it resonates with people so much? Yeah, firstly, yeah. we're really, really funny. <laughs> humble as well yeah. <laughs> and then we were just i guess lucky like you yeah. say youtube was early if, and we said offline that you know if we'd have dropped it now people would have probably attacked us in the streets well, they would have thought it was too long back then they're like 40 minutes brilliant now they're like 40 minutes maybe not so yeah i think it was just the fact people were surprised by how long it was I mean, basically, they they only watched it because they didn't have a choice. There was nothing else, nothing else like Resident Evil Four to watch. Yeah, we were like we were like a second video on YouTube after Smosh, I think. So it was either that or Smosh. <laughs> they picked us. Good so, choice. <laughs> <laughs> Smosh took off. <laughs> yeah, wait a second. <laughs> so it is an interesting one. You guys would have been obviously fairly young. You would have been at school. How did you pitch this to your folk? That can we like borrow the house, please? Because we have got this wacky idea to make a film. Please. Don't think we did, well, we have we? a surprise guest here, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think we even yeah. told them. It's just I think we just waited for them to be out. Yeah, and just yeah. do it. Yeah, it's pretty pretty long much. hours. Like one would be out sort of early morning to late night, and then one did night shifts and stuff. So we just sort of took advantage of that. Yeah, yeah Raided their clothes. Out. Obviously, yeah. they knew what we were yeah. doing. They, yeah. I don't think they really cared. But yeah, we just we did it when they weren't around. I mean, we I'm pretty really sure. Their permission. I'm pretty sure you can in like one of the first episodes of Resident Evil, you can hear our mum in the kitchen doing something while we're filming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Does she shout? She shout? Oh, in Resident Evil Four, at the very beginning, when I kick when I kick the door as Leon, the first door, you can hear my mum going, "Oi!" <laughs> you have to listen out for it but yeah so she's around some of the time but yeah it's funny and of course you you, you edited all the codex sequencing in yes i really want to know what what your uh post-production uh process was like doing that it was a nightmare because obviously it was two separate video clips but like, we, 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 we pull yeah. this off. Hang on. Oh, yeah, there's that. But yeah, it was just two separate video clips. So we'd film. I'd film <laughs> my line. Oh, God, here, here it is. It, does, it holds up all right, actually. So I didn't say anything wrong with this. Yeah. But there's we might a lot. This. So basically, <laughs> I would film my scene and then I'd leave a pause for Steph to do hers and she'd leave a pause. And if, if the pause was too short or too long, I'd speed up the time or slow down the time in between. But it was a pain. So I had to render out one, one image, the video of me first. Yeah. And then I'd import that back in and then I'd have to add her and render the whole thing out. 
if that makes sense. It's hard to explain. Six months it took. Yeah. <laughs> Just slapped it there, actually. Six months. But it was, uh, yeah. So there's no codex in the new one. No, well, there isn't, actually. So it's, yeah, it's, it's like I'm actually disappointed by that because I would get to redo it. But no. who, who was her, by the way? Who was her? She was from the IGN forums. Yeah. We met. That's uh, Steph. So she's from Canada. And um, hey, she's a big fan. Yeah, she's watching that. She's not watching. Watching. Uh, we've got our back as Hunnigan in the remake we're doing as well. Yeah, yeah. let's go. <laughs> yeah, everybody yeah. from the first one is back. That's you had amazing. to bail Luke out of prison. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I think some other, like uh, Paul, who played Baron Resident Evil 1, I think. Oh, yeah. He was he in Resident Evil 4. It wasn't Gennaro. he, like a single Gennaro or something. Yeah, Paul, who played Red Barry in the first Resident Evil, he's back in this one. So, yeah, we're all back. The cool. gang's back together. Mm. I mean, I suppose it was quite an easy sell. It's like, yeah, we're getting the gang back together. You in or you're not? Uh, <laughs> we did have to kind of bribe a couple of them. Oh, no, yeah, then, then you played Ashley. He was not so yeah, yeah. A large <laughs> amount of the GoFundMe went towards him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting seeing him as Ashley, though. I tell you. Looking forward to it. Another excellent, excellent uh, editing you've got here. <laughs> I'm imagining this was uh, fairly involved back in the day as well. Would that be a fair assessment? What's the, what the button prompts? <laughs> yeah. Now, piece of piss, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you'll have to ask Miles. There you questions. go. That scene, this scene here, this is it. If you, if, when you, if you watch it, you can hear my mum moaning at me for kicking the door. Also, I don't know why we did that. Why did I go to that door, try and open it and go around to the front? Hang on, let me... Uh... <laughs> Let's see if we can kill it. So good. What point did you hear, Mum? Oh, it's, it's back. It's when I'm kicking oh, that, the, out, the outside door. You might not be able to hear it. I guess I could hear it because I know it's there. This door what, here. This, this door here. Right. Voice in your head. Let's, let's have a listening. It's looking good. So we're liars. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you definitely kicked that door. I guess my, I guess my, were you oh, in this video? <laughs> Who are you? It's in the outtakes. It's that's, in the outtakes. That's why you here. Oh, okay. Well, I just wasted well. everybody's time. He's just trying to get more views yeah. on the outtakes. Jesus Christ. Yeah, go check out our outtakes. Absolute gaslight. Are, are you sure you was in this video? Who are you? Are you sure you're, you're the Bentley bros? No. <laughs> it's just like I got confused. I'm sorry. <laughs> So, uh, do you guys still uh, is this house still in the family by the way no no it hasn't been long for gone. years now I'm trying to think how long we've <laughs> literally moved so many times then. <coughs> yeah someone out there is living in that famous house so they don't even know it it's a shame really probably get tourists there all the time. Take a <laughs> idea for the remake breaking and entering we did a viral video back in 2005 do you mind if we like just ruin your house <laughs> just like show up all in costume <laughs> guns and everything yeah I, I definitely not freak them out if you're kicking doors in you can do it for real so obviously you had to work around your, your folk at home trying to get all these scenes in and whatnot looks like you was filming in like open fields and alleyways and what have you how long did this all take initially to put together uh, I think it was like two weeks. I think it filming, because Stuart originally scripted it. He started scripting it, obviously. But I think the actual filming took about two weeks. For once, we had a script. Yeah, yeah, that we, like, yeah that was, I think that was our first script, actually. Resident Evil 1, we just completely went in there blind. But then you actually tried for I don't think Resident it was even, Evil 4. Was it a script or just like basic? I, I, I actually rem I remember it being a fully written out script with actual what we said. Given that it's a 40 minute video, it was a two page script. So <laughs> well, that's I mean, how in depth it was. Yeah. But I do remember it. Yeah. But about two weeks to film. I don't know. I don't remember the editing because obviously as soon as we filmed a certain scene, I'd go home and edit it straight away. So it might've been about two weeks to get the whole thing done. And four weeks to get it from the camera to the computer. Oh yeah. So. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And well, then was it yeah, Firewire back in the day? Was it, was it Firewire? I want to say. Why? Was, why? It, was it on tape, this, or was it? Yeah, it was like a set tape. Yeah, yeah, oh, God, yeah. Oh, my God. It, honestly, yeah. f filmmakers now do not know how easy they have it. Yeah, I know. Using... We'd have had the technology now back then. We'd have been famous. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is... I'm actually just reminiscing, actually, just, just looking over it now. And it's... Man, it's crazy. I, I, I love it how you filmed the Krauser fight in, like... 
obviously like a gar- like a set like ga- set garages or something. They're probably it's probably like a housing estate. Yeah, it was like the perfect village we lived in because yeah. at least to cover off the village part. Those Spanish the people like, that with the pitchforks. Yeah, 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 you were perfect. Yeah, but no, everything in the video was like think about a minute walk from our house. Yeah. Like we didn't have to go out of our way to film any of it. it was I like think a we really do a good, good job. Location. We do a good job of making it take you kind of you forget that it's set in like a modern setting. Like I think we do a good, yeah, good you, job of like you taking pop- your mind off it. You don't realise it. It's yeah. like. I know. I watched it earlier, and I don't think that at all. Oh, right. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, I mean, I think I think the Ford Mondeo in the background goes. <laughs> yeah, that, right? I mean, there are certain things. <laughs> no, right. you didn't notice that. But no, you don't actually. You don't notice that we filmed the whole thing in like any interior scene is in. I think back there's two houses. Yeah, literally two houses. Just used over and over. I think well, it's actually mainly our house, and then the the Lewis cabin scene was just filmed in Luke's house. But I think that was it. Yeah, it's just the two houses. But it's, you don't really when you're watching it, you don't really care about that you don't notice it it's a bit earlier because yeah. Stu's girlfriend had it on and it's with the wheelie bin we never owned a wheelie bin so i don't know whose wheelie bin we stole <laughs> but the bit where ashley gets in it uh mars froza we just stole someone's wheelie bin so borrowed. Just... They got it. They had it. i mean we yeah. put it back didn't we with ben in it <laughs> but they knew they knew what we did around yeah. the village so it's fine they some people are friendly bros again just yeah just actually kept a wide in. surf they were like don't go near them weirdos <laughs> i'm sure the uh i'm sure the uh Enough times passed that you won't be committed for any crimes relating to the wheelie bin, so I'm sure you'll be all right. Okay. So, but why, why bring, why bring it back now? Well, it, enough times passed. You, you guys could have just let this be a relic of relic of YouTube, a, a, a point in time. Why, why now? Why are you, why are you guys choosing to remake the Resident Evil Four parody? Evil yeah, that's, yeah, that's the thing, right? Up until the remake came out, we don't listen. Everyone was asking for to do do Resident Evil Two, do Resident Evil Two, and then as soon as the Resident Evil Four remake came out, everyone was like, "Do do Resident Evil Four remake, do Resident Evil Four remake," and we we've always wanted to, haven't we? Yeah, to do two, or to two, well, to do either two. Well, four was kind of we never really planned to do four. It's just because everyone was like, "You need to do four. So we yeah, we do kind of, told. We yeah. put a post on our Ben Bros thing when the Resident Evil Four remake. Came out uh, the announcement trailer saying, "Don't expect a remake because yeah. we're doing one basically." And then it's like it. two weeks later or something, we're like remake. But it's because we three out of four of us have beat the game, so, and we loved it. And we've got like we've got like there's still time. Yeah, yeah. Well, you better hurry up. But we've got ideas that we you know you, you play the game, you think of all the uh, these ideas, and then you're just like this would be good to do. And then obviously people saying, "Can you do re- remake four? We were just like, "Okay, let's do it." Yeah, I think in our older age, what we lost was the ability to go out and film things. So now we have green screen. We're like, we can do what we want now. Yeah, we could, we'll, we'll be trying to use some green screen. So that's the thing as well. That's the problem. <laughs> getting to get not, not getting together to film is is what's difficult. That's why we didn't do Resident Evil Two because we don't really speak to each other much. No, <laughs> I don't even like this one. Just but... fa- just family functions, eh? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, do, do, so do you? Are you all still basically? Are you all still in the southwest, or are you kind of a bit more spread out now? No, no we're, we're pretty. We're pretty. We live within like 10, 20 minutes of each other, so seeing each other is not a problem. It's getting like new and Ben and everyone else together, it's and getting like, on with each other. Yeah, and getting yeah. on with each other. Yeah, brothers, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's now a good time to announce that I'm going to move away. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Spain. Um, <laughs> good. So obviously loads of times passed how are you gonna and the real the real kind of charm about this is because it's low budget how are you how gonna you? balance that <laughs> low budget of course low budget um how are you gonna balance that against like today how how is that gonna factor into how you're shooting how well, you're shooting think, everything? It's, it, right we're, we're gonna we're actually gonna try to make it look somewhat decent this time we've, got a better uh, we've actually we've got, got a budget now so yeah that helps but it's it's still it's going to be decent for us our sort of quality <laughs> so basically any professional Western filmmaker or, or anyone on youtube who watch it they'll probably think it's jank as hell but for us we're going to really try our best i like I to know. think the quality of our videos have gotten better over the last definitely yeah we've done. so breaking news yeah, everyone <laughs> breaking news the bentley bros are gonna try Yes, <laughs> for once. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think I think like I think people are going to want to see like 
Stuart as Ada again, but in the new costumes and stuff. And, and that's literally all they want. So <laughs> that's yeah. what we're giving them. But no, they've been, used, they've been the, clamoring for it. With the costumes we tried. <laughs> yeah, we tried really hard with the costumes, actually. We've we're going to do a calendar of Ada as well. Yeah. Stuart's Ada. <laughs> we're selling that. On the... <laughs> but you've, you've, you've put the GoFundMe out and it's had a fair bit of success, really. I mean, we yeah. always... You must have thought, I know you said, oh, yeah, it was, it, we didn't think it was going to do as well as it did. But in the back of your mind, you thought there must be still a lot of interest in seeing this type of media again. <coughs> yeah. It blew our minds a little bit. Didn't it? Yeah, it was we, crazy, I think. Like, proper made up with it. If anyone here is watching, donated, thank you very much. We do appreciate it. But no, yeah, um, I, I hoped we would make the goal, but I didn't think, I didn't think we would. I didn't not think, in a million years. I didn't think, I think we would at all, let alone with how quickly we did it. No, we did it. So we did it in about a day. When you suggested it and you posted it, I thought we'll have a couple of weeks and like it will either happen or it won't. And then it was like in 24 hours, oh, we've just hit 1500. Like, well, I guess we're good. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Probably start thinking. Uh, and after our <laughs> holiday, we're going to have a really good <laughs> <laughs> <Super relaxed. laughs> Yeah, you're all inclusive. Stay two weeks away. <laughs> You'll, uh, you'll have a, you'll have We're a going to Spain. We're on holiday now. It's just a green screen. <laughs> <laughs> what, but why do you why do you think it has kind of ran away with itself a little bit? Why why do you think do you think it's because of the whole nostalgia behind this? That's all, yeah. That's the only reason yeah. I think. Yeah. People don't. I don't think they specifically remember us, but they remember the Resident Evil film. They don't remember who filmed it, but they remember it. I think it is a all nostalgia. Like if anyone new to our film like if, if someone was browsing the internet now and they came across it and watched it they probably think it was really cringeworthy and awful i do when i watch it <laughs> i think it's horrible yeah i've still not seen it <laughs> <laughs> but no i think i think it, yeah i mean it holds up okay but like if anyone knew Joke, sorry what do you want me to say it no no i think I, th I think there is there is mileage in what you're saying like i used to fucking piss myself about how funny this was like like 2007, you know, but like, you know, I suppose comedy changes. I mean, scary movie doesn't do, you were talking about scary movie earlier. When was the last scary movie film we had? And they just got progressively worse and worse and worse. Obviously yeah. I'm not saying you're going to put out a film that's going to be terrible, but. Sorry, we'll say it. Don't expect right, much though. people. It's going to be awful. <laughs> no, but like, I, I'll, I'll take what you're saying. Like, I, I look back at this and I think it's not cringy. It's just like, it really is a product of its time. And like how we, interpreted parody films at that time like are there any parody type films anymore like like a scary movie i don't think there is i can't think of really, it i can't i can't think anything recent no i mean i, I think the last yeah, we're in real trouble yeah. <laughs> i think the last big one was probably um what was that was it haunted house ha yeah. the, uh, had, um, is it Mar marlon, marlon Wayne? wayne's yeah. Oh, yeah i think that was the last big one but it's like parody and paranormal activity. Yeah. 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 But, oh, all the all the recent ones are awful. I swear, scary movies one and two are amazing, and then three's they, all right. Actually. Three's okay. I like just, three. Just three holds, but yeah, three, all, yeah, and then you've got like epic movie, disaster movie, hmm. all that. They're all Ben Bros. Disaster. Ben, movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we can Resident Evil Four remake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on, our, uh, on the fan art, someone did that. There's a quote that says, "This is like the space balls of um, video games," and I think that's a really good quote. I like that's that. Good. I like you wrote that. I think that's a really good compliment. I like that. No, no, but you're, you're uh, all jokes aside. Yeah, you guys are kind of bang on the money with it. I mean, how are you going to approach the the remake, though, in all seriousness? Like, this has a, a very specific type of comedy. Are you expecting to kind of follow in that vein, or are you going to, I mean, how is it going to be? Is it even going to be a parody? Is it going to be super serious? It's gonna. It's I think it's gonna. It's gonna be harder to do. It's yeah. not as clunky. Like we the, would the remakes, um, obviously, like polished, yeah. and it's kind of hard. To, you can't take the piss out of the mechanics from the first Resident Evil Four. So I think well, we've yeah, we've got that. Those jokes will obviously be kind of gone, <laughs> like the whole kick in the door and stuff like that. But we've got like, I think. Good I think there's another thing is we we've, we've got to think about obviously jokes we've done in the original, yeah. and then you've got new jokes for this one. But can we? Can we redo jokes from the original, or do we just have to completely do? Him? Yeah, can we? <laughs> Would you guys like us to, to uh, redo <laughs> the <mind>? jokes? <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. Basically, can we? Like, obviously, we've we've done a lot of jokes in the original, and some of those, most of them, still hold up in the remake. 
So it's like, do we reuse them? Or... I think we can. That's the idea of a remake, isn't it? Just I suppose. I mean, it is a remake. We'll just original. do them, but better. I have faith in our sense of humour. Yeah. Yeah. It's a silly sense of humour. It's yeah. crap sometimes. I think it's going to be more of the same of the original Resident Evil, just hopefully better quality. I think that's what we're aiming for. Yeah, Pretty Miles, much. right? Better. Yeah. Better quality. quality. It'll be the best. <laughs> think of Avatar 2, but better. <laughs> That's like yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we didn't say when we were releasing these. <laughs> well, honestly, we're we we have we know what we're doing, we, but we still we're still curious how it's going to turn out. Yeah, I just want to dress as a woman. Yeah, again. we haven't even got the costumes <laughs> yet, so we don't even know how I look as Leon or how Ben will look as Ashley. So it's still waiting around for that. You know, they could look awful. We don't we, know. We've seen the crowds. Uh, yeah, we've got the crowds. Yeah, crowd, yeah. So they're, they're a lot more accurate. Krauser and Ada look pretty decent. They look good. None of it's from our mum's cupboard. Not <laughs> inside. <laughs> it's all bought and it's legit. Have you got a... Um, obviously, I appreciate you're st still kind of building the budget of... Well, you've got a fixed budget already, but you, you've got... You, I imagine you're going to have stretch goals and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, we have, we have raised it a bit. We've, basically, we've got... It, everything we plan to get, I think we've got so far, but... Anything extra is like we want. We want to have a Garador in there. We want to get a Garador costume and stuff like that. But obviously, it's a lot. It's a lot more pricier than you think. Yeah, it's really expensive. <laughs> yeah, it, we. A lot of it's made on Etsy, and yeah. people obviously like take a lot of time. Do you doing know, that I'm just saying. Do you know what I think they do on Etsy? I think you buy it from them, and they go and buy it from someone else, and then they send you that. I swear that's what they do. <laughs> it's just middle. You've bought a lot of things on Etsy that I have sent to you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. But no, yeah. I don't remember what the question was. <laughs> the question, um, well, all it was going to be was, you've got your budget. When, when, when are you looking to shoot it? And hopefully, when are people going to be able to to see this? Uh, that is a good question. Right. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know when. There's no. There's no date on when the costumes. I think we're waiting on Leon Salazar and Ashley at the moment. But there's no date when they're going to show up. But as soon as they do, we're going to. I think the Salazar one you said was like 20 something days. No, the Salazar one is like a custom made one. It's going to take about a month and a half. I'm a big lad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but, but as soon as all that comes, we're going to, we're going to release some like character posters and stuff. We're going to take some photos and release them. And then, that's what the people paid for. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> really? That's, yeah. We're gonna, ASAP. We're gonna, as soon as we've got we've got the ideas and we're adding more and more each day. Like anytime we think of something, we like sh stew mainly jots it down. I think basically yeah. as soon as we get the Leon and Ashley costume, that's when we can start. Like, as soon as we get Leon at least, I guess that's the main one. Well, yeah, you kind of you need Leon. Yeah, Leon, Leon. We need. yeah. So like as soon as we get that, we can basically yeah. There's no there's no time frame yet, but as soon as, soon as possible. Yeah. This year. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you, so you're basically. You're just procuring the you're procuring all the outfits and then yeah. you're literally just gonna jump straight into it. You're not like, oh actually we'll wait till the winter when we're not as busy or no, whatever. No, no. We'll we'll go straight into it. But that's the pro yeah. the problem the main problem is finding time when all of us are available. Because we all work different times and days and stuff. Like Matt works in the evening and stuff at some days. So that's that's the main problem. That's why we want to do shorter videos, because we can just get together for a, a night or two and just film a couple videos and then release those and then we'll get together again and film more as opposed to waiting two years or whatever for us to finish a 40 minute video we did notice that a lot of people wanted it to sort of be in some kind of order because originally we were going to do a lot of like small short skits of certain parts but i think we are looking now to do it in a kind of order of the game like as best as we can anyway without like obviously the boring bits in the middle yeah but, yeah so. chronological yeah, that's, that's no, the word. That. There's another word. <laughs> <laughs> Just we we were talking off air that you had a couple of comments as the years have gone on saying, "Oh, you in you know this is like my childhood. You inspired me to do this. You inspired me to do that, and etc." Do any of you guys actually still work in like the creative field? No, <laughs> I think it shows in the, our videos. That we yeah, have. <laughs> sometimes I draft up a shopping list. <laughs> They're really good though. Yeah, like, I love the got a script throughout the like the checkout bit. <laughs> but no, we don't really. Aside from this, yeah, we don't really do anything. This is it. Regards to filming, I do stuff. a little bit of video stuff for work, but nothing like this. Mm. They don't like playing it, do they? No, <laughs> people are sick of me at work. Dark sense of humour. But no, we don't. Yeah, 
it's literally our, our our only interest in filming and creative stuff is just what we've been doing. We have no interest to veer off on our own and go do stuff to do with it. That's fascinating because <laughs> it's not obviously it's not just. On weird, a serious yeah. note, though, it's not just you didn't just do. You're just known for doing the RE4 remake parody, but you've done like loads of different videos over time. Has it never been like an interest to be like, oh, actually, like we can make a real, real take, thing of this? Like a bit different at the start, but we were obviously all very young, me especially at the time. But I don't think we realised like how big things like YouTube were going to be back in the day. So I guess we could have been like, because our. our, our the first load of videos we did, obviously we used a lot of copyright music, there was a lot of oh, swearing, yeah. a lot of banning of like videos taken down and stuff. And we didn't realise that there was going to, well, we had no idea, obviously there was going to be like monetization down the line for it. But we could have probably played it better at the, like, the early days. But but I mean, in all fairness, <laughs> the, Go, the GoFundMe picked up Steam. Mm. That's going to go. When you eventually start putting the, the new product out, you could you could look at monetization and whatnot. So no, we yeah. get hit. With you're, you're just basically you're playing the, <laughs> you're playing the ultimate long game, is what you're doing. Pretty <laughs> much, a twenty year long game. You know, like when an artist dies, it becomes worth something. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, yeah. One day this will become public domain, lads. I think you do need to to, to bear that in mind. Ooh, I'm worried about die. my children seeing this stuff when we're older. So I'll delete it before I die on my deathbed. I'll delete it. Don't you worry. <laughs> does, does anybody like in your, obviously outside of your family, but like, does anybody know that you did this? Some people at work find yeah, out. Yeah. And there's an awkward conversation there. It's weird. I don't like telling people. Yeah, I don't like it. It's, it's, it's like a hidden life, really. But it's on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's, like, you know how some people don't want to admit they do only fans. It's kind of like that. Like I don't like I don't know why. We That's do why. that too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the dresses come from, obviously. <laughs> no, I, I feel that. I mean, I, I have a, I have an eng- Like my main job is I'm a, I'm a commercial manager, but I don't really talk about my streaming or anything like that. It's kind of like a or content creation around Resident Evil because it's just not really relevant, is it? But I'll be interested, you know, because it yeah, has done so well. Thing. Wait, what was that? Sorry. I said, do you get the odd looks from people? Yeah. It's like 99 of the people are like, what do you do on your spare time? And you're like, uh, I'm in the rabbit hole now. How do I explain this? Well, I'm sure you would probably have a harder job explaining your one than, than yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's me dressed dress. as that woman, yeah. <laughs> well, I dress that kind of thing at work, so <laughs> I really don't question it anymore. The more things change, the more they stay the same. <laughs> I'm just seeing the Magic Ninja 2 when. We should do oh, that. Yeah. No, we should not. <laughs> okay, no Magic Ninja 2. Bad Sorry. the first one exists. Oh. I don't know if this is like an inside joke or it's gone straight over my head, but uh, we've got Kendo's Meme Shop in the chat. Excellent name. Um, hey, those Bentley Bros out again. I wonder if they've been doing any hoovering. What, yeah, yeah, we just have really messy houses yeah. in our videos. Right. Have, you, have you not <laughs> seen Mr. Cleany? I'm assuming, yeah, Mr. Cleany. It was a killer Hoover. Yeah, yeah sorry. Some, it's for some people, films. vacuum cleaner. I think it's, it's not banned in this country. It's banned in like almost every country banned, because like, of the top, <laughs> copyright. Yeah, so gory. It was, that's why. <laughs> but no, it's, yeah, it's just a film about a killer Hoover. Um, <laughs> right. It's pretty good actually. It's, the quality, the picture quality, lets it down because it's really old. But the, like, it's, picture it's quality, the acting, <laughs> editing, quite a few things let it down. Script. <laughs> it's more just than a few things. Art. Put it all together. <laughs> yeah, well, Mr. Cleaney was clearly a masterpiece, actually. Well, someone made it, <laughs> someone filmed their own sequel for it, so it can't have been that bad. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Some kids in America made a Mr. Cleaney Comes to America, which is their version of our film set in America, yeah. obviously. But uh, that's, yeah, that's uh, how you know you made it when America gets old and what you've done. Yeah, yeah but that you is crazy. Watch, no. You know, we were talking about like, we didn't know how big YouTube is. Like, do you not think it's wild that? Specifically, Resident Evil has this global. I mean, think about it. You, you guys literally did a parody of a Japanese game that now everybody, regardless of what country they're in, that's familiar with Resident Evil 4 YouTube has probably seen that video. Like, you could have people from Spain, America, South America, etc., etc. You, you, it's basically like 
It's crazy, like yeah, yeah. how big Resident Evil is. That's the thing with like when you, you said about do the people we work with and that know we do it. Like I, I'm the same. I don't tell people. I don't go around like oh I, we do YouTube in our spare time. But anytime it has come up, and usually my fallback is well we did one film it's got five million. <laughs> like, <laughs> which is kind of weird, but like also cool at the same time. And that's usually the point where they're like oh, okay, fair enough. Like <laughs> if I was like yeah we did one film and it got like 29 views, they obviously think like no. Oh, not as great, but yeah, that one obviously took off. But so. then nowadays, five million isn't that much. You get like videos going. It's a lot to me. It's, it's yeah. not it's a lot, but you get videos going like, viral all the time. Five like, million views. There's nothing. Jesus. I think. I think in the because re- even though Resident Evil is a global brand now more than ever, it's still quite niche in the grand scheme of things. Mm-hmm. So for a video to be five million views in our space is still like. A, a huge deal obviously i appreciate this has accumulated over 20 years yeah although yeah. saying that when when did it because obviously it's not when did it kind of hit that peak of going through the roof was it like initially or is it kind of drip fed over time and now it's five million I think it's in like three million for ages. yeah, yeah it's, it's just it's like, it's just drip fed it's literally it, um, it's, i don't think it's been very many spikes it's just been constant but when it first came out it got mentioned in Electronic Gaming Monthly in America. I got a little article about it, and I think that got some got our views up a little bit. Don't know. They didn't. They didn't have anal- analytics, whatever it is back then. Yeah, but, so, I, but I guess that was done something for our views. I think. I think it's been been mainly gradual, like just. And then it's gone up and down every now and then. Like when Resident Evil Four Remake was announced, the views went up a little bit. I think we account collectively for about a million of the yeah. five. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep box. pressing F five on the browser. Because that counts. Like the hours refreshed in that page. <laughs> but it, even um, our, web, our Resident Evil has been mentioned on Capcom Unity, which is Capcom's like official forum site or something, which I thought was quite good. They meant they posted it saying it was good. <laughs> Don't watch this. <laughs> well, they, they basically said it's good. 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 Uh, watching all forty minutes of it basically is what they. <laughs> that's another thing though. The fact that it's got five million views and it's forty minutes long. That's quite impressive, right? That is that is impressive. Because. Yeah, yeah, well, who's to say they stuck around for the forty minutes? Well, I mean, <laughs> I can tell you they and didn't. And I know the um the percentages, but <laughs> I mean they still clicked it. We agreed we wouldn't talk about oh, those. <laughs> I can't believe everyone stuck to the end. It's amazing. No, but like it's so it's so, I just this is so interesting because this this video came out so long ago. Think of how many iterations of YouTube there has been, like. There wasn't even a like meter when you guys made this. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, obviously you had to be a director. You could you couldn't even upload longer videos unless you had a director account. Like YouTube has changed so many times over the years, but there's only one thing that's been constant, and that is the Resident Evil Four parody. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Absolutely insane. And I noticed that you've you've posted a couple of shorts on it as well. Was that just to drum up a bit of interest? Was it or yeah, test, test the waters? Really. Pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, one of them would go viral, but it hadn't happened. Yeah, people just aren't interested anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you like Not that, enough, anyway. Toy, Toy Story Three in it. I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> no, this is uh, yeah. Christ, it says sixteen years old. Uh, sixteen years ago, here, just an absolute bike on. I imagine you've changed that thumbnail multiple times as well, because you could never have thumbnails back in the day. Uh, yeah, I think. I think the one you've got is quite old, though, and it's just the, the one with the blue background. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's a tried couple. Mr. Beast's face for a while. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but no, it's a couple couple of years. I don't remember what, what it was before that. I don't know if it's just a screenshot from the. It was a screenshot of um, me and Stuart's Ganados, wasn't it? Yeah, yes, it yes, it was. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Why did you change it? It was doing so. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, messed with the back. algorithm. Oh, yeah. I'll change it back. <laughs> but when was your. What, you still do bits and pieces, though, don't you? Like, not like super, like super frequent but you you you're still posting other forms of content. Is Is it your intention to continue that? Yeah, we kind of accept that we didn't have like a huge base of viewers, and we just like we kind of enjoy making things. Yeah, we do it for yeah. us. I was the one. <laughs> we didn't care about anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even make it to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, though. Like we we film it and I edit it, and all I think about 
is oh i can't wait to see this when it's done just i don't care about it i'm just like i want to see what this is like when it's finished that's why i enjoy doing the editing part because we get love to ourselves yeah, we do we do sometimes we debate we put it on youtube now we just want to watch it for ourselves really. that's what we think we think if we if we like it then other people are going to like it that's what i mean obviously the views say otherwise but... <laughs> i do think we should have stuck to spoofing so we did try and come up with ideas of our own which were fun to do and we enjoyed and people have enjoyed but i think spoofing is kind of what we're known for I know, some of our things are good i like the clown the clown people films like we did. The clown yeah film. people like resident evil more that's that's, well, that's, that's what I mean, true like, but then i don't want to be pigeonholed into this <laughs> oh you're too late for that <laughs> you're well, yeah, I know you're been, right. but i mean i don't want to be like oh, we have to do these parodies of these films i want to you know i'd like to do things that oh i want to do a film about a killer clown let's do it yeah because that's really worked for us hasn't it Mark? <laughs> No, but, no, but in all fairness, st I mean, look at when we were talking about scary movie earlier. Like, if you continue to do the same thing over and over and over again, like the real benefit, the, the real positive thing about Resident Evil Four parody is, is there's only one of this. Like, you did, you guys didn't just keep milking it. If you know what I mean, you didn't go to five. We didn't do to a remake of that remake. <laughs> <laughs> but now it makes sense because. You know, it's like a different time. You you know, you've had 18 years to sit and think of new ideas. Imagine if you'd continued to make Resident Evil Paradise. I'm sure you'd have, you would have achieved success, but I don't think it would have the hype than if you left it and then bang, dropped yeah. a, drop one 20 years later. That's what we've been aiming for. Exactly that. <laughs> been waiting for this. Have you got your have you got your stop stopwatch? You like, see, got another two years. Right. <laughs> Twenty years. <laughs> and now we go. We blew the horn of Bentley Bros. <laughs> Part of me wishes we did try like back in the day we did try doing Resident Evil 2. I'd love to have seen how we did it. It would have been it would have just been, been in the same house as Resident Evil 1. It would have been awful. <laughs> <laughs> just that like, we, we we did alright with the first one in Resident Evil 4. Like considering what we had. It turned out all right. So I just I would love to see what we did with Resident Evil 2. I mean it probably yeah, it probably would have been out of shit, but yeah. But again, at the time we were doing it, YouTube was still quite new. So yeah. it probably would have been okay. We shouldn't have got jobs, is what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. should, should have committed. But but, he doesn't agree. He's like, no, <laughs> have you seen the quality? <laughs> when did when did this? So what was what was coming around at that time? Was this one of your? All right, so you had a couple of videos at that point. Although I'm sure you had you had more than this. No, have you like yeah. unlisted some over time? We've deleted a few. Oh yeah, we don't talk about that. But um, yeah, there's a few that we've deleted. But then some of them got taken off. They got copyrighted, so we just took them off because they can be yeah. viewed anywhere. Yeah, they they would copyright them and mute them. I think so. You near them so we deleted those scooby doos just recently gone down that's in some countries i still think it's available now the thing is we didn't care about music back then I, if i liked a song i would put it in the video literally over don't even scene. care yeah <laughs> over the whole scene if you've seen magic ninja which <laughs> is music a, i don't know if you, you you probably haven't seen it but in every scene in that film there's music playing in the background every scene it doesn't even it doesn't even make sense with the scene it's just a song i happen to like at the time and it's really awesome. it's really funny you say that though because obviously you guys have been YouTube creators forever the whole DMCA thing is it's crippled some channels in some regards with copyright music but if you noticed now more than ever with short form content you're looking at TikTok YouTube shorts well not maybe not YouTube shorts because they're still quite difficult about that copy using copyrighted songs is now no, now no longer a problem everyone's starting to use it again so it's almost like We've, we've come full circle. We've gone from, yes, you can use copyright music, no one really gives a shit, to actually, no, terrible thing. And now we're back on this short form role on TikTok of, yeah, use all our copyrighted songs. No one cares. If it goes viral, that's great. Yeah. Like, it's, it's bizarre. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Think about it, actually. It's, we'd think we'd do well on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. But it's wow. a shame that YouTube's still bad about it. Because we did a stream the other week, and we streamed, like, watching our films. And I got like 37 copyright emails. <laughs> just <laughs> really like, was it a four hour stream? Yeah, it was a four hour films. stream, just watching our old films that were, they weren't on YouTube, they were on like our Google Drive. So we were playing them on stream and yeah, it was like 37, 37 copyright strikes copyright or something. I don't know. <laughs> so, so you still have copies of everything you've done? Not, not the like job. the original. They're more, they're ones we've uploaded. Or so, actually, I think someone else uploaded these and sent them to us. Yeah. We, we haven't got anything from, I, I don't think, 
even like a year or two years ago, whenever our last film came out. I don't think I've even got that anymore. I'll take it in terms of the RE4 remake. You've just, excuse me, the RE4 parody. All you've got is what's on there now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we can just download the YouTube video again. And that's it. And it's, I think it's worse quality than the original, which is hard to believe, like the one we actually uploaded. Yeah, it's almost like, like, because I don't remember, I, I don't know whether it's just, you know, time's gone by, you're looking at things in like different monitors and whatever, but I don't remember it looking that pixelated. I do wonder if you ever watched a VHS tape, would you be like, what the, f is this what we used to put up with? I don't know where it is now. But I think the, when back like, when YouTube first came out, it wasn't like the, the screen smaller like the box you would watch it in like i don't know if you could know i do remember having like a 32 inch tv was like you were rich mm. to be fair, now, like my 90 inch like... tv upstairs it's probably not even 240p i don't <laughs> think so. i think <laughs> i don't know i know it's i like rented one, out at 144 p yeah it's probably 144 or something like that it's ridiculous let's have a look uh because you you did a quote unquote remaster can you detail what the uh, remastering process was uh, yeah, pay money to get it upscaled. <laughs> Realize it looks like absolute shit, but continue doing it anyway. And then so I basically I downloaded the um, the original Resident Evil Four uh, video off of YouTube, and for every face in that upscale, I had to I basically used the face from the original Resident Evil because the upscale just completely screwed the face. So I had to. Cut. It's not even worth it in the end because it doesn't even look great. But I had to cut <laughs> cut out the face of every character in every shot and put it on this, like you know, put it on the the new upscaled one. And then there was just adding all these random special effects, whatever I thought looked quite cool. Yeah, only... If you watch it on your phone and really zoom out, it's actually quite good. <laughs> yeah, it looks <laughs> alright. Like, yeah. Away. The only the only effect that I I like is when he shoots um he shoots one of the Ganados and they're on the floor and they do the they like disappear into dust or goo or whatever and stuff like that. What are we going to do on the remake one? Because that doesn't happen. What do they do on the remake one? Oh, yeah, it doesn't it. happen, does it? Yeah, you're right. Oh. Well, right, <laughs> the film's cancelled. We... Scrub Sorry. that joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like stuff like that, that was the one benefit of doing that remaster is jokes like that where Leon sees this enemy disappear into dust. Like, whereas on the original, he just you just hear the sound and then it cuts and cuts back and he's gone and now i'm like what the hell yeah, you didn't but then people are like what, what, what happened there what's that didn't you even have mu uh, muzzle flashes on the original did we no no muzzle flashes or anything oh. i remember for the longest time you used to edit like i think it was a leaf yeah that was <laughs> that was for magic ninja you know magic ninja film that i there were guns and any muzzle flash in that is just like a, three for Three, three frames a ton, yeah, of a leaf an autumn like where leaf. the gun was mm. and you just flash it in it looked like a gun muzzle flash it doesn't it didn't look like a muzzle flash it did that was the problem it didn't look <laughs> it did yeah, well, I mean I, I guess it was uh, yeah but then what films were released in 2005 and how good yeah. do they look and then you yeah, got to with a leaf muzzle flash I think Avatar was out at that point <laughs> <laughs> do you remember what you used to shoot Resident Evil 4 with like what camera uh, it was a potato. Was it a Sony? It was a, it was a, yeah, Sony. It was a load of shit, to be honest. It was like a 150 great. pound camera, wasn't it? Was, yeah. It wasn't like. But the problem is, so you'd have to, we filmed, you'd have to film it all. So we filmed, and then you'd have to, to upload it to your computer. You had to actually sit there and watch everything you filmed as it was being recorded to the computer. It wasn't just a case of getting a clip and then dragging it into the onto your computer. You have to sit and watch it as the PC like records it. So, I mean, do you remember doing that? Yeah. And then sometimes and you, you could hear the, the tape rolling. You could not put any sound over it. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. So it's almost like, yeah, it was like, I suppose if you would do the old um, recording with the, with an actual VCR, it'd be a similar, mm -hmm. be a similar pro man. Sometimes, yeah. 1950, think then, and those old. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that. that Honestly, people don't know how easy now they have it more than ever. I, even like ten years ago, when I was doing my um, when I was doing my bachelor's in in film, even they were saying you guys don't know how easy you have it now compared to like what we had to do with tape and everything like that. Like I couldn't even uh, I couldn't even imagine having to do all of that. That must just just been so hectic. But at least now you've you've got the green screens. You've got you've got kind of updated software. We're going to see you in HD, so that's going to be very interesting. See yeah, how that. Films on a phone, 
That's yeah. how crazy. It the war phone have you got? iPhone five. Is that a good one? <laughs> <laughs> the best. So that's the thing, though. We're doing. We're doing. We've got all this money, like these donations and stuff, and we're doing green screening, and we're going to try and do really good effects. But we're still filming on a phone. That's a job, though. So yeah. It's yeah, but I mean, some of those yeah, iPhones could... now are just ridiculously good. Like, if you, I, I would argue, if you've, if, like, if I was shooting an interview, like an interview on the spot, iPhone in cinematic mode just looks fantastic. Right. So we'll have, to, we'll have to try that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what was the name of that again? Yeah. <laughs> you just need to sort the sound. Out. Yeah, sound quality is a major problem. Then we have the um. What's the, the sound thing? Little... No, that made it worse. We oh, bought like a. It's more of a wind block. It's like it's a muffler, like yeah, or something. We bought a boom, yeah, like boom. But that's what we see. We're not very technical. It made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Adobe have just brought out a tool actually called Adobe AI Voice, and it basically cleans up your cleans up your audio. So I li- you could literally shoot. And I'm not saying I'm not saying do this, but you literally shoot a shoot a clip where you're talking into your phone, and it will basically just completely re yeah, do some fucking AI shit and it'll come out sound like you're in a studio. It sounds gimmicky on paper, but I saw it in practice. And I was like, holy shit. What's it called? Adobe, yeah, well, Adobe AI. The beginning of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Which leads us on to our sponsor of the video. <laughs> no, we, need to, we need to do something with us. Our sound quality is like awful. We don't just get like a proper boom. mic. What? And plug it into a phone. I don't, I, don't I don't know how it works. No. Anyway. <laughs> well, I know you can get clip mics for phones now, like the old... Um, Is that what we've got? No, you mean... Oh, right. The old, you know, clip mics. But yeah, no, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be fun. I'm super, I'm super looking forward to it. It's going to be uh, another... We look forward to letting you down. <laughs> <laughs> That's I like we're not really selling this. We're like, you know, expect disappointment. So, so are you going to be? Are you going to try and keep, aside from the take? You said you was going to upload a couple of photographs. Are you going to keep production really quiet, or are you going to try and like kind of hype it up? To I think, think it would be good to, to release. To yeah, to hype it up. I think because I don't know. Well, people people have paid. So <laughs> they want to know that we're. Actually, I mean, the plan like doing something. The plan now is just to gradually release these character shots for the moment, just obviously to build up hype. And because that's all we'll have, they can see where the money's gone. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's the thing. We don't even know. Obviously, you, you guys have all donated all this money, but we bought these costumes. But we're praying that they're good. That's the that's the thing. We don't know what they're like until they they show up. So hopefully, so they're, far, they're so decent. Good, but the, the Ada and Krause one, we've we've made ourselves. Like with these other ones, they're like proper costumes. So hopefully, they're not oh, like from mm, proper yeah. Costumes. And just yeah. to answer Kendo, no, we don't have that mask. And yes, Brogan, it was a Freddy Freddy Krueger. <laughs> it was pretty good, yeah. That's how cheap we were. Yeah. Let me let me just have a look. See see what that's like. See what... It didn't look like how far was that in the video? Was it quite far in? Was I think it was in? it was quite early on because it was when we first sort of highlighted that zombies were in the game. Was, it was our old zombie mask. He was it... eating the um eating the first corpse. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah it's definitely, yeah. Definitely, it's, definitely it's used, it's used in both Resident Evil One and Four, that mask. Resident Evil One. There you go. Got, got it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just, it wasn't used that much, so it wasn't. Oh, yeah. there it is. There it is. I don't it know just looks like naive to me. <laughs> 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 Do you know what? I always pop at this video where you're beating you're beating the zombie to death next to the banister. That always pops, mate. <laughs> and you just get up, you're all like covered in blood. Like, oh man. <laughs> just always used to pop me as a kid, man. <laughs> Yeah, someone else saw it as well. Yeah. You on the loo. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, that's such a random <laughs> scene for us to do. Like, why? <laughs> no, but that is, that is peak comedy, though. That is like proper toilet humor. Well, if pardon the pun, that's toilet <laughs> humor, you know. Like our typical humor, like, Stu comes home one day with a fart machine. We're like, next film, that's going in it. Like, we're going to use that. Yeah, we'll Michael something. Jackson mask. That just randomly yeah. made its way into everything just because we happen to have one. It's like when yeah. someone. One of us brought home some beards or something, and the next film we've all got like beards. What is that? Well, that was, was that? Um, babysitter two. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Have beards. Yeah. We did a babysitter two film. We deleted that one. It was awful. But yeah, we're all wearing beards for some reason. I like the intro to it. The intro, the intro was the best part. And then 
yeah, it went downhill. Yeah, we've got a new camera and stuff. Well, yeah, it's split between cameras, wasn't it? Mm, yeah. <laughs> between great crap cameras that we had. The beginning was really good, though. We parodied the, big, the Lord of the Rings when they're tossing the ring into Mount Doom or something. But yeah, we, it was really good. It was a rip with the river. Yeah, you know, I mentioned we ripped a lot of films. Yeah. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Worried about the copyright strikes? I, I wonder. <laughs> no, we don't care. We stop <laughs> caring. <laughs> Never care. Let's see how many we can get. <laughs> there was there was actually one scene actually I wanted to talk to you about specifically with the Resident Evil One remake, and it's a scene where you put the tape in, and it's there's like a scene. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Was wild, wild. How, how did you how did you pitch that? Uh, <laughs> <shooting> <laughs> yeah. The tape was filmed before the Resident Evil. <laughs> <was filmed. laughs> was that an original concept for another movie? That uh... <laughs> that was the original Bentley Bros. That didn't do so well. The porno side. <laughs> I remember the um the website that used to host our films. Uh, he we had to blur that scene yeah, for him to host it. He wasn't happy with it. That's crazy. I know. No, I was wearing a bra, so it was fine. <laughs> it's just the sound effects. I, I did, we, did, we did a stream the other day, and I played it in like 0.5 uh, playback speed or something, half a speed, and it was like, it was just so funny. It was good. Well, they I'll, show, I'll show you later. <laughs> yeah, I don't know I'm just watching it at normal speed, but you play it in half speed. It's, it's I better. swear it's that. Yeah. <laughs> I actually told my girlfriend about that thing. So can we just... <laughs> that must have been so fucking funny to film, man. I don't know. I'm mumbling things. I'm sorry. I'm just going back through to see that. Oh, I found it. The fucking side beating the shit out of this zombie, man. It pops me. <laughs> Let me uh, pull it up. I don't know why my, my screen's going like this, but we have to, we'll have to accept it. It pops me. And again, I love it because it is totally on brand where you, like, you, put, you, you, you didn't have auto aim back in the day. So you're like, oh, fuck. No, no. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, I think we did quite a good job of like screwing the different. We're the first person, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people like the um the snake scene, the, the yawn scene, where they do he does the scream. Yeah. And it's just the scream and the snake over and over. <laughs> and with man. such a terrible camera, the scream is just like it's crippling. Shot, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a horrible scream. But no, I remember, I remember you edited that. Yeah, we were in like you... a confined like one meter by one meter bit of wood. We were just all crammed the, in there. The, the insulation is like, I just remember sweating <laughs> like mad up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the things we it. did for this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but do you want to know an interesting fact? His jacket as Chris is the same jacket Barry wears, just inside out. <laughs> that's how low our budget was. Yeah. That's hey, how genius was. we are. The I only time we're in the same scene. That's not why... long before I lose my yeah. jacket randomly. Oh. That's why you lose so jacket. And be in the same scene together. We're smart, you see. <laughs> was, we were quite clever, though. Really. I think like, the hunter looks quite good, considering what we were uh, working what's, with. What's the plan? Plan 4 What's the plan? 42. Yeah, plan 42. It was just uh, our friend Paul, who played Barry, down in the plant <laughs> in the bottom of our garden, standing in it, just waving the uh, <laughs> branches around and stuff. So, yeah. yeah you, you can we, tell. So it looks we made the most of what we had, which wasn't a lot. That's that's why it's yeah. I wonder if that's partly why people watch it. They want to watch how we did certain things. They keep watching to see oh, so how are they going to do this. How they they... Can get worse than this. So I kind of want a copy of this GIF of Nath being the tyrant. This? Please well, send it over. <laughs> oh, he he, he couldn't, he couldn't strut. strut, could he? He didn't know how he to strut. Left really? leg, Just... left arm, yeah. right leg, right arm together. I had to it's teach just... him how to strut. <laughs> He was new at the time. So yeah, he? He's doing well with the ladies. Yeah, he did a dab before dabbing was a thing. <laughs> he invented it, some might say. <laughs> Not many people, but <laughs> is there is there anything as we start to kind of round this off? Is there anything you guys would do differently? Everything. Literally <laughs> everything. <laughs> I was expecting a really wholesome answer. No. We're brothers. <laughs> we're bro we're all in this together. No, absolutely. Yeah, I think we did the best we could do with what we had, and it turned out quite well. I I'd probably, say. I'd get rid of Matt. Yeah, from films. Well, but I, other than that, I regret being in it. <laughs> that's all right then. But no, I wouldn't yeah, do anything we'll, different. I think we do often wonder what if if we'd have just committed to it and put our yeah. time to it because the the frequency of the videos I think was the problem. Um, that and all the quality, the quantity, the editing, all of that. But we we never Despite did it. That. We did it for fun, didn't we? We never we never thought, oh, let's do it to make money. Or, it's just a hobby. Yeah, it's just like fun. We did for fun. It kind of got us together. Good laugh. 
Yeah, we had it was random, good. Like, every time we met, like, met up, we, we bonded. Stuff. We bonded. Oh, yeah. Really close. A bit too close. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> <laughs> so the real, the real, the real mission wasn't to create funny Resident Evil films. It was about family time, spending it yes. together. <laughs> the real message of Resident <laughs> Evil is family. <laughs> I mean, Resident Evil Seven, yeah, so it's fine. Yeah, family, um, son. Thanks to the people that watched it. Our family group. No, that's too cheesy. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we'll thank our mom <laughs> and our dad. Well, you've got to think, people have literally seen you grow up through, well, I'll say grow up. <laughs> <laughs> They've seen you grow up through YouTube, Age. which is yeah. which is crazy. The thing is, Absolutely people like, crazy. they called us kids, but I was 19 when we did like, Resident Evil 4. I know, but I look at 19, you don't look 19 now, and I oh, think that's... kids. Yeah, they are, yeah. It's you, though. You're the... Obviously, because yeah, you were so yeah, young. The way I look at nineteen-year-olds is very different. But no, it's just you've got you've got like a video of you at such a young age, like thirteen. I remember, like the first well, Resident Evil One. I was like, what, eleven? Uh, yeah. Did you? Yeah, play it's the game? that grew. Probably not. <laughs> and I then was told. Resident Evil One. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I played it. It was just no. you're going to be Chris. You must have known who Chris was, though. You are all Bentleys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in a way. <laughs> That's not a good thing, but okay. You don't want that. <laughs> Seek therapy. <laughs> no, but it is, uh, I mean, you're, you're quite right in what you say. It's not just a, uh, a a funny video you put together. It's almost an archive of uh, a different time. And, you know, not everybody has the ability to have that on tap like you guys have got here, which yeah. I think is the real, which which is, uh, you know, all jokes aside, actually pretty wholesome. Uh, I think 100 years from now, if anyone watches back and looks at these, God bless them. We're like, really sorry. We might stop while we're free. You might watch our videos. Yeah, if you bring peace. We're like Bill, <laughs> Bill and Ted. <laughs> What's it's happening? Yeah, anyway. They turned out to be shit, didn't they? Uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so, so when does your, as we start to round this off, when does your GoFundMe finish? Have you got a an actual end date for it? Because surely it's, you must get to a point where you're like, right, we've got a stretch goal, but this is like the final day. Stop. Well, we've got we've got an idea of how much more we need to get everything we need. Either way, we're carrying on with what we're going to do. Yeah, we're just, so, it's just going to be a forever go for me. Yeah. yeah. No, but we've got an idea of what we need. So it's just hoping we get enough to get the, the extra stuff that we need. We're, we're, we we've got about 95% of everything that we had written down that we wanted to get. So it's just keeping it going just to see if we can get the extra to get the, the last few bits. Yeah, the more we get, the more content we can do. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's prop and costume based. And... Yeah. That's how poor we are. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so there it is. <laughs> and where where can where can we find like keep up to date with you guys outside of obviously YouTube? Is it where will you be posting these kind of monthly updates or what have you? It'll probably be weekly, I think, but but we've got Facebook. We're mostly on Facebook, yeah. Twitter, if we remember, because we're really bad at remembering Twitter. Have a look. Is it literally just Bent, Bentley Bros Productions, is it? Um, I think it is. I think both of them are. It's good that we don't know, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> it just shows how little we use, like, Can Twitter and stuff. <laughs> if you find it, let us know. <laughs> you don't know the username and password, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Right. So and that is where... You, so the Facebook page, if, the, if people want to see the updates of it, that's probably going to be your best bet. It's just something we can put this in the description or whatever. Yeah, most likely be our main, I think our main focus is Facebook. So I think most of it will be on there. And then, yeah, Twitter, if we remember. <laughs> We're so reliable. <laughs> We just don't think we don't I like, how, look, I like how just laid yeah. back you are. Just if it happens, it happens. If it Pretty doesn't, much. Happen. just Will to clarify, just... everyone, Resident Evil Four is definitely happening. <laughs> just, so, just you know, in case you're worrying, just not on Twitter. No. <laughs> cool. Any any last thoughts, gentlemen, before we uh, we wrap up here? Just thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah. And thank it's you. It's been nice to be everyone. Thank you to everyone who donated as well because it's been really really helpful. And of course, like we'll, as your updates come out, obviously we'll rebroadcast them because you know this is 
this has been quite a staple for a lot of, you know, whether you're a Resident Evil content creator like myself or even a long-term viewer of Resident Evil YouTube. This is, I think this has quite a fondness to it. So, yeah, if you ever needed us to like, you know, chuck a few posts off or anything, yeah, we'll definitely make that happen, for sure. We want to, we want to see this be the best it can. So do we. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Brilliant. Well, gentlemen, thank you for... Thank you for answering some of the questions in the chat. Thank you for coming on. Uh, that was the Bentley Brothers Productions for the Resident Evil 4 parody and the new remake parody that's coming out. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, uh, we'll you see guys. you very soon. Thank you, Thank you for having us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, it's all good. Thank you to everybody in the chat who's tuned in. Uh, this has been Andy from Residents of Evil. We will see all of you very, very soon.